Well, hello and welcome back to Strange Horticulture. I've had to turn the music off just so you know because I keep getting hit. Uh, you know, the music's obviously owned, so just a heads up on that. If it sounds a little bit different, it's because I'm trying my hardest to not lose everything. All right. In Tebe, a noble elder stood silently watching starry skies. Um, I'm going to assume this is the card we drew last time at the very end. Uh, I don't know if Tebe is a location. Let's see if we can't... Let's see. It is. It is a location. It's over here. Uh, noble Elder stood silently watching starry skies. So I'm going to assume this means north, east, south, south, west, south, south. I find myself on a patch of moorland surrounded by jagged peaks and menacing clouds. A distinctive plant stands out against the swaths of purple heather. And there, another. So we get two more. Good job, team. Let's put that away. Don't really need that at the moment. And uh, let's see what's going on. Long Meg. Sorry, I've not heard of it, but I'll keep an eye out for you in the library. As long as you can get me some fever kiss, that is. Too many late nights in the library are taking their cult toll. I think, hang on a second here. I think that's fever kiss. Yeah, so this one uh, leaves are pale in color. Uh, that's the only one that I have that looks like that at this point. So pretty sure that's it. Yeah, okay, cool. Let's see if we can't, can we change the color to that? Yes, we can. Now we know exactly what that is. So we can, uh, we can do that. Let's move some of these plants. You go over here. Did my wandering, hang on. Yeah, I did, it wandered off. Stop it. If it wanders off in the uh, dead of night. So that's weird. Oh, a letter, hey. There's talk around town of a woman who wears a green mask made of jade. There are all sorts of oddballs and odd undermare, but that's certainly unusual. Oops, I meant to give me this. Beckfoot candle. So we um we've experienced this before. I thought this so I thought this thing was like an eyeball itself. Um let's see. Beckfoot candle. So there's a candle. Where's Beckfoot? There's Beckfoot. So let's go ahead and do this and candle which is here the candle leads me east of waste or west water that's not waste water <laughs> to the north of the mighty ska Scafell pike grazes the sky the tallest peak in england the challenge beckons to me perhaps another time we get another plant though Ooh, what is that this is weird all right stick that in there i don't need you all right I've been talking to people around town, trying to learn as much as I can about this beast that is rumored to have been seen in these parts. In the old world, they call this thing the Servant, but the people here seem to have forgotten that name, except the group calling themselves the Seeds of Redemption. They are something I did not expect, and they have made it clear they want me to stay away from the Servant. They seem to worship it, but I'm getting distracted. My Dorinthium supplies are low. I need more. Have we found this one before for him? I don't even know. Uh, no. Okay. A plant with powerful mind-altering abilities. Those who inhale smoke from burning its long, sharp leaves alleviate or elevate their awareness to levels otherwise unachievable. So let's see. Some know Dorinthium as green eye, a name derived from the telltale signs of overdose where even the whites of the eyes take on a green tint. That's this guy <laughs> right here. Uh, let's see. Does this have sharp leaves? Yeah, I think it's probably this one. I think that's really the only one we have that looks similar to that. Okay, so let's go ahead and label that as... Dranthium. Okay. And then let's shift this plant somewhere else. So... Oh, I didn't mean to do any of that. Okay, there we go. A little bit of room to, to focus here. Apparently there are 77 plants according to the achievements. So there you go. Uh, what else do we have here? Ah, Balix, Balox Elixir. I think that's going to be important. What's this? Oh, that's that. All right. 
Uh, I really don't have anything to go to, so... I crept around black comb two nights ago in the pitch black. That eyebright stuff is some potent, or that eyebright is some potent stuff. I could see clear as day. Up on the fell, I found a shallow pit full of skulls, some deer, fox, badger, and some human. There was an eerie silence about the place, and every part of me was screaming to get out of there. Back down on the flat, I heard a terrible noise like an axe maker's whetstone, but unmistak unmistaking, unmistakably animal. High on the ridgeline, I saw a cowled woman wearing a jade mask, squatching me, and beside her, something dark, inhuman, and bloody huge. I don't mind admitting that I'm out of my depth on this one. I need to speak Verona to Verona again. You'd have been out drinking too if you'd seen what I did. So you want some wild coal. Okay, so purple berries. Um, hmm. Purple berries. Oh, this is probably it, because I think this is the only plant that I have that has berries on it at the moment. So let's see. Wild coal. Rather than a domestic one. Um, hang on. Is there there's one place, right, that we haven't been to? No, we have been to. I was about to say, we've got this thing here, and there's the tomb of the hunter. Um, but we've been there, haven't we? There's also a great oak down there. Yeah, we've been to all of those locations. So I don't think we actually have any place to go right now that we could probably find things. Maybe we could just go someplace, but, um, may not be worth it at the moment. My neighbor has a foul-smelling mushroom that she says can ward off evil spirits. It's a horrible little thing that attracts flies, but I'd rather have that than sit and do nothing. There's something very strange out in these woods. Um, let's see. Is that the sunset one? That's the one. Let's see. Deter unwanted souls from entering the home. That's what he's looking for, right? And it smells really, really bad. Because I don't think any of these smell particularly bad. Oh, that one smells rotten. Okay, so yeah, after perusing this, I don't think, I think the only one that really works is the sunset, um, sunset one. Hang on, let's see here. Where is it at though? Uh, this one right here. I think that's the one that we want. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, let's, uh, let's keep going here then. Poor Reuben, he looks like, he looks a little worse for wear this morning. He took it hard when his wife died and he never quite did give up the drink. I think I know what the ritual was performed at the stone circle. It all adds up. It was a summoning spell. Someone called to something across the void and tried to bring it here and with the state of that body all torn to shreds, I'd say they succeeded. And then the gilded dendra, that got me, that really got me thinking. I found this in Dr. Worthing's bestiary, a little light reading for you. I'm headed to Grizzledale Forest again. The Sisterhood will know more. All right. It has many names. Some call it the Woken Dendru, believing it to be related in some way to the deadly Gilded Dendra plant. Others call it the Night Stalker, the Miasma, or the Dread, but the most common name for it in the Shires is the Servant. You'll have heard of it in children's songs such as Keep the Fire Burning in Servant and Master. And there are hints of it in the older stories, but nobody alive has seen it in the flesh. It is said that the dead ground northeast of Tebe, where nothing but black gigitus mortis grows, was caused when the servant last walked our lands hundreds of years ago. I'm wondering... Hang on a second here. Uh, where'd that go? Northeast of Tebe. I wonder if we can get some... Yes. The wide area of blackened ground here is known to the locals as Dead Man's Field. Dark mushrooms protrude from the soil like fingers reaching out from the grave. Hey, hey, we got the plant. Ah! I don't like this. I don't like this at all. All right. Um, let's go ahead and end the day then. It is again, huh? Every day she attentively followed the teachings of the Arda. Every day she patiently performed the task given to her. Every day thoughts of the book itched away at the back of her mind. There has to be something on that card, right? 
I don't like this. Hang on. Okay, a secret uncovered is a secret no more. Two miles north of Foxfield. Okay, two miles north of Foxfield is here. Three ravens circle above, their caws and croaks cleaving, cleaving the silence. An omen. I take what I came for and leave. All right, we got another plant there. We're just collecting these like crazy. Uh, let's move some stuff around here so I can move the ones that I have not yet. Did my wandering view? It wandered over here, didn't it? You need to stop. You just need to find a space and chill there for like five minutes. I think we know, so that one we do know because uh, we actually used it, didn't we? Let's go ahead and turn that uh, yellow. Okay, so let's see what else we've got here. We do have, we still do have these. I'm not sure why we still have these though. Like I thought we, we use this to unlock this, right? No, okay. Well, I thought maybe because it does kind of seem weird that we still have these. I don't know, maybe they come into handy later? I'm not entirely certain, but there is a thing over there. All right, well, let's uh, start out here. Oh, let her right off the bat. One from your librarian friend today. In reference to your question the other day about Long Meg, I'm afraid I do not have an answer, but Calder Abbey has a wealth of knowledge on local lore. If you ever go there, the monks will request a plant from you, but they won't tell you what they want. A sort of test. Looks like we've already completed this one, so uh, go me, I guess. Have we been to the Tomb of the Hunter? I think we have, right? That was here, over here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have. Is there anything else? Oh, there's another... Let's go to the stone circle. I'm very curious. I shudder at the thought of what happened here. If those stones could tell us what they saw, a chill comes over me and I realize that I do not want to linger. All right, so, oh, it looks like I got some rising dread. So I went out when I probably shouldn't have. The sisterhood are trying my patience again. If the old Arda was around, but she's not. They've kept their secrets for hundreds of years. If ever there was a time to share them is now. They know of a way to defeat this servant, some ritual or weapon or something, but their stubborn pride won't bring them to ask for help. Well, I won't sit idly by and do nothing. It's better to have a little chat with this new Arda. And I think I'll take some Mountain Astory with me. All right. Let's see here. Mountain Astory promotes an era of confidence and persuasiveness. The large cup-like flowers produce a stale, damp smell. Okay. Um, so cup-like flowers, that's not it. This kind of looks cup-like. Flowers, um, hmm. Old books, musty, I think it's this one. Yeah, that checks out. Okay, let's go ahead and label that one. Mountain, ass, is that how you spell it? Yes. I'm actually surprised I got that right the first time. Okay. Well, let's keep going here. Who's this guy? I have finished the designs you asked me to work on. Be very careful unwrapping these. Some of the glasswork is quite delicate and I have taken great care transporting them. Oh, okay. So you can now brew elixirs using ingredients from my plants. Okay. And well, there's a note here. So let's grab that first. Patterson's Guide to Fatal Fungi and Their Antidotes. So, spring wax caps, sometimes fatal, can usually be cured by taking hop heart boiled in vinegar. Uh, let's see, Sunset Moon Camp, generally not fatal in small doses. Use crushed leaves from sour brandy to cure. Often fatal can be remedied using the sap from Lemon Dandy. Uh, often fatal, no known cure. And another one using Royal Gentia. Um, okay, let's see. We do have some of these, do we not? Like if we take real, okay, so we know this one. I don't know, I really need to organize these. This is try kind of annoying, actually. Um, let's see, that one I think is a pink flowered one, is it not? Well, we do know this. So we do have some flowers um, that we, I don't, 
we like we'd probably have to figure out uh which one of these is what but we'll let's keep all this in mind for for now hey cat The new Arda wouldn't like me being here, but the forest is in danger. I spoke with Verona Green earlier. It's bad. If the danger has awoken, then it will come for us. You must place an offering at the altar of Arduia, Arduina. Okay, so we have a note here. So where are we going? That's that's always the question, isn't it? Uh, looks like there's a church here, some mountains. Uh, well, say these are probably towns. And a river near a mountain hmm so the place that looks closest is right here so as you can see there's a little uh place here there's a place here there's a mountain here and a mountain here so i'm thinking it's right here it seems beth has been able to keep her fellow sisters away from this part of the forest for now at least the trees are thick here old too the altar seems to belong here as much as as much a part of the forest as the gnarled trunks and twisting roots. All right, so we have either ember soul or, okay, do we have, so this one here, um, application in dark magic. Those who worship the huntress place the flower as an offering to ensure a successful hunt. Okay, or ember soul. Um, it is sometimes given to an offering to various deities in return for sanctuary. Mmm. So we neither have sanctuary or a successful hunt. Oh, which one do I want to do? I think... I think what I've decided to do is go with the Embersol, uh, if we have it. So let's see. We need flowers with a lot of leaves. And we have to be careful because they are sharp. Uh, let's see here. It's quite easy to cut oneself on the jagged leaves. Um, so I think it's this one. That looks right. This is definitely not it. Uh, these ones don't look close to that. Okay, I think this one is the one. I'm going to give them the ember soul. Okay, so that one is the ember soul. Good job. That one... Um, in return for sanctuary and i'm thinking that's what i want to do the hunt sounds fun but i'm worried that that will that's more of like this thing has come here then we need to be careful to not not do that okay so let's go ahead and uh, let's move on i'm being harassed by loonies shouting about the redemption saying they're going to set it free whatever the hell that means well, they can take their seeds of whatever, woken something or other nonsense, and stick it where the sun doesn't shine. I'm not joining their damn cult. I just want to tend my garden in peace. I am looking for some lark shine. Okay. Have we found lark shine before? I don't think we have. Okay, so lark shine is a plant. Oh, this one. I can already tell you which one this is because this one has spikes on the flowers, and that's literally the only one we have that does that. So cool beans on that one. Okay, so let's label that one. Let's move some stuff around. Put the plants a little further away. I don't think there's anywhere we need to go. Um, so let's just, just end the day. Here we are again. Ooh, this one has holes in it. 902 and 803. Okay, I bet those are peaks. In time, she learned that the sisterhood had secrets, or had she always known that? Had she come to them by chance, or had she sought them out deliberately? She wasn't sure, but by now she knew what she wanted, and she would do anything to get it. I think we're slowly moving towards a full moon. And that's probably bad. Okie dokie, so first things first. Where'd that card go? Uh, we got 902. Where's 902? Um... Well, here's 803. There's 902. You just put that here, and this is the location that we're going. 
The impressive ridgeline of the Crinkle Crag stretches across the full width of my vision. Days like today are worth being alive for. A colorful plant stands out amongst the moss. That is very colorful. All right. Let's pet the cat and let's click the button. My old man reckons there's a plant there's a plant what can find pots of gold buried underground. Don't know what it's called, but I bet you do. Tell you what, when I'm rich, I'll share I'll throw a share of gold your way. All right, so the weeping bell. Oh. Oh, here it is. <laughs> I can definitely, you know, figure out my my alphabet. Okay, the soft frill leaves can soothe insect bites and stings. It's also known as golden light and sometimes fool's hope. Okay. Um. Oh, hey, wait a minute. I have golden light. Um, I don't remember where we got this one, but no, that's it. Okay. I was like, that one looks like it. I don't, I don't know what I'm doing here. All right. Well, we did good. We did good. I have a task for you that would greatly aid the seeds of redemption. One of the drawer in, is in town and we know he's paid you a visit already. No doubt feeding his habit. We suspect he's here to hunt the Dendru. If he returns, give him some of this. I don't know if I want to do that. I don't, I don't like that. What is this? That's probably poisonous. Hmm. I don't know. I'm heading out on the road again, but before I leave, I wanted to store some valuables in a safe. I don't trust myself to remember the combination, and I certainly don't trust myself to write it down anywhere and not lose it. This is where you come in. Surely you've got something up your sleeves for me. Okay, so I think... Nope. Where is the... Bay... Nope. What the... Bay... Give me this! Baylock's elixir. Okay, so three plants. Um, let's see. Three crushed petals of three distinctive plants. So let's see here. I need to find some plants that look like that. So let's start going through here. See if we can't find anything just drawn that looks similar. Okay, so that looks useless. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Uh, no, actually, it's not zoom in. Let's use this. So we have one of these. Let's see. So this has four, eight petals. So this looks really similar. Kind of similar, but doesn't have the veins on the petals. I think it's probably this one. Let's see, what else do we got here? Some flowers with two f things falling out of its face. There's one that kind of looks... Looks like it might be it. Hmm. So we actually have two possibilities here. We have Lady of Summer, um, but we also have this one. They both look really, really similar. So maybe one of those. I'm not sure. Uh, and then, actually, I think those are the only ones that have the two. The two. I don't see any other flowers on this long thing. Oh wait, here. It's got more than two. Is it not? Yeah, this one I think has more than two. So I don't think that's what we're looking for. Oh, hey, look, actually, um, as I'm perusing through these, I think this one actually looks far closer to that. So let's see, let's try that one. Um, let's see. So I think the ones... Wait a minute. Does this have... It does! Look! Look, look, look! Like, right, the ones that I don't freaking 
have in my book. That looks close. I was thinking it might be these guys, but they're turned to the left and the right, and I think these are actually referring to these flowers that are pointed here. Um, I don't know. Let's try it out. Did it work? Holy crap, it did. I just got lucky because I ran that over the ones in the front. I don't think... So, wait. Um... Which is the one... So I can't just like throw something in here and create the elixir. I need more to that. Okay. So, uh, where did that go? Oh, there it is. Here you go. So it looks like uh, you only have to brew it once, actually. Can I label this? I can. Cool. Okay, cool. So that actually takes care of that. Does that mean that's then checked off. It is. All right. I'm looking for something specific, a very unusual looking fungus that takes me back to my childhood with its wonderful smoky smell. We've already had one that smells smoky, does it not? It was this one that smells like wood smoke. Okay. Oh goodness, Hellivore, haven't you been giving enough, getting enough food? That's terrible. Whatever will become of you? My mother's ha had me looking into this servant creature for you, but I'm afraid I'm not getting anywhere. It's strange. I'm sure I've seen some reference to it before, but I am drawing a blank when I try and find anything. I think Lord Fremont's archives would be a good place to look. I was going to post this to you, but I was in town anyway, so I thought I'd drop it off in person. That and sneak in some hellivore hugs. Okay, what's in this uh, letter this time? I've not been getting anywhere looking through my collections in Ambleside for any mention of the servant, but Lord Fremont's archives at Mun Muncaster are home to many ancient and esoteric scrolls that have a wide variety of subjects. Okay, so... Let's see. That is... I actually don't know where that is. Um, oh, here it is. Muncaster Castle. Let's go visit. I follow Freeman's manservant deep into the vaults of the castle. Two hours later, I have still found no mention of the servant. On the verge of giving up, a name grabs my attention. The Woken Dendru. Didn't Verona say that was another name for the servant? The Woken Dendru is loyal to the summoner who becomes its master and can bend its terrible power to their will. This servant is assumed to be immortal since it has no known vulnerabilities, but that does not mean that it cannot be defeated. Many hundreds of years ago, a site of ritual importance was recreated near Black Comb to the south of the Watcher, the Great Oak Tree, and the Dendru was ousted from this world. Unfortunately, although we know that five plants were required for the ritual, the specific plants are not known. Okay, so we actually do know where the tree is. It's down there. Uh, so let's see here. Near Black Comb South. So I'm guessing here. So we'll probably want to go visit that area eventually. Norwood, please. I find it's the only thing that can keep me from nodding off on the night shift. Same, really? Uh, let's see. Norwood. Uh, a bite of this crunchy root of this plant has the effect of a cold bucket of water thrown over the face. Uh, oh, unnatural light, huh? Hey, hey, look at that. It's right there. So I think it's this one. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's go ahead and mark this off as Norwood. Good job. And uh, let's take a quick visit to... So the tree is here, so let's take a trip here. A small stone shrine sits off to one side of the clearing. Five grooves run out of the center of the stone, winding into recesses at the base. Five slots for five plants. This is the right place, but I'm too early. I need Verona's Green's help to perform the ritual. 
I just wanted to check and see if we could actually get that, and it looks like we can. Yay, I picked the right place. The first letter of the Latin name of this plant note is golden light, the number of petals on a lucky Cabalia's Kabbal flower. When her chance finally came, she did not hesitate even for a moment. Afterwards, when the Arda was dead, she felt only elation. Years after she had first laid eyes on the book, she had what she needed. So this is the woman, I guess, who summoned the critter, critter to the book. Okay, so Latin name of the plant known as golden light. Uh, let's see. Oh, we talked about this. It wasn't golden light. There was, uh, there was another name for it. What was the other name for it? It was something we've already found. Crap, I messed that one up, didn't I? Let's see here. Okay, actually, so uh, where's my notes? <laughs> it's this plant, and it's also known as Weeping Bell. Okay, and the first letter of the Latin name of a plant known as Golden Light. So that's L, and the number of petals on a lucky this flower. One, two, three, four, five, six. So L6. Oh, I guess that's not right. Oh, lucky one. I completely messed that one up. Finding a seven petaled flower is considered lucky. Okay, so before we do anything else, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna water some plants and we're gonna go back out there. It's L7. Okay. Let's try that again. Let's go to L7. Seven. I amble through Meadowland, stopping every so often to examine any wildflowers that catch my eye. Buttercups, daisies, cowslips, red clover, knapweed, cat's ear, and hidden among them something new for my collection. Ooh. Um, that's weird. Some weird plants. Let's see. Let's actually move. We have all sorts of plants kind of tucked away in here. Let's move these guys back out. Let's move some of these plants over. There we go. All right. It came for us. We were attacked in the night by the servant. In all my time in the forest, I've never experienced anything like what happened last night. The forest came alive and drove the beast back. Arduina saved us. It's the only explanation that makes any sense. One thing is clear, we cannot do this alone and we must not allow the servant to get its hands on what it's looking for. I am trusting you with this, the secret that the sisterhood has kept for hundreds of years, a tool to defeat the Woken Dendru. Keep it safe. Use it wisely. You will know how to open it, of course. I don't have a key for this, but um, thanks for that. Uh, okay. I will know how to open it, of course. Do I have something to open locks? I feel like I do. So it's this one here. I just scrolled right past it the first time. Uh, so let's see here. I wonder if it can actually assist here. Um, well, the question is, oh wait, is this it? Uh, yes. Hey, hey. Okay, first is the corpse friend, a reminder. Then comes the ankle grabber, the binder. Third is the fear bringer. Fourth to lift a curse. Last a petal to secure black blood's reverse. Follow the Dadon tributary to its source. I'm not entirely certain what that means. Uh, where is it? Do... Dudon? I don't know. Hang on. Is that something here that I can find? Hey, yeah, so that's a river. So follow... Tributary. Is that the second one or is that... I think... Mm, let's try here. I've never seen this plant before and here it is growing in abundance. Okay, so I think we got that one. Ooh, pretty. Uh, so yeah, that's what we needed for that, so we can put that away. Um, 
Can I put this in the archive? I can actually put things in the archive that I don't need. Fabulous. So there's the five plants that we're going to need to secure the servant and lock it away. Probably shouldn't have joined the cult if I was just going to immediately turn around and like turn turn down the cult. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, I don't think we have anything. Ah, here we go. So we've got like the Neville's, Devil's Nightcap. I, that was a random page pull. Nice. Which is, which is the corpse's friend. Um, boiling the root in vinegar creates a tonic against fevers and poisons. Uh, let's see. I don't know if we have this one. Light pleasant scent. And it is dangerous. Is that the one that we picked up? What is this? Red fruits, long, flat leaves. Hmm. I don't know. I don't think we have this one yet. Let's go ahead and just... Uh, oh, hey, we got a letter today. They're saying the sisterhood has been attacked. Don't know much more about that, but the seeds... Those seeds of redemptionists have got all excited about it. There are a bunch of them chanting outside pullovers right now. Foxfield Trident. Okay. So we know how this works and we know where the the nee, 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 nee. grab this thank you we know where foxfield is so the trident get this on there is pointing here from foxfield the trident points me in the direction of some foothills northwest of the swineside stone circle a faint path leads me over a ridge and into a dark dell here a plant thrives sheltered from the wind Okie dokie. Well, let's keep going here. I'm going to Black Comb. I will kill this servant. My people have a saying, he who lives without fear does not live at all. I will not say that I am not afraid, but it would be no bad thing to die hunting such a noble adversary. I will take some Ember Soul. So, um, I think that the bad guys want to give him the lesser... Mary Doc, which is, um, which will probably kill him. I'm going to label this the lesser Mary Doc. Uh, I don't know if I really want to do that though, to be honest. Like I don't want to join sides with the servant. Uh, he does want some Ember Soul though, which we have definitely, I will fight you. We definitely looked at and see the Ember Soul has many pet. Where is it? It's this one. Uh, I'm gonna give him the Ember Soul. You can say what you will, but uh, I'm not gonna kill somebody or hurt them. Allow me to present my services. I own a small shop that specializes in curiosities. I would have thought that someone in your position might be, ought be, to be interested in pursuing our collection of manuscripts on elixirs, for example. Okay, so let's see here. Let's go visit this guy. Um, Arnside Antiquities. Where did I go? Where did, where did it go? What? Where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. So let's see. 221 Orchard Road. So we have Arns. Let's see. I think Arnside is a location. Probably a city. I don't know where. Oh, here it is. It's down here in the bottom. So let's go to Arnside. Might as well. The dark exterior of Arnside Antiquities blends into its surroundings. A tailor called Jones and an ugly looking haberdashery to the extent that I had a walk past it three times before I find it. Inside, however, I am greeted by a world of intrigue and wonder. Old trinkets set aside, faded books and manuscripts, while strange utensils and machines, their uses unfathomable, occupy rows of display cases. It is some time before I peel myself away, returning to Undermire, Undermare with two new recipes for elixirs. Okay, so we've got St. Quentin's Elixir and the Elixir of the Damned. That's curious. It's said to bring a person back from the brink of death, but at the expense of their soul. Those who have drunk it appear vacant and lost. Okay, so let's see here. This has got 
this one. I don't know. I'd love to be able to uh, go ahead and just start from the top here. So this is in the, I don't, if we have them, we'll go ahead and make this, but uh, let's see. Looks like the first one here is that one pretty flower that we were just talking about. Ah, here's the first one. Okay, so that's the one flower. And then we've got two other ones, Men's Fortis <laughs> and I don't even know. Let's see if we can't find these uh, in here somewhere. Ah, so the first one is Dorinthium, um, which I know... So there's that one. And then the last one... Ah, is the henchuck. Okay, so this one we have not yet found. I don't know if we have it or not. The fruit of the henchuck can have startling effects on memory. Even a small dose can result in short-term memory loss, but in larger amounts has been known to cause severe amnesia. So it's got a bulb. It has a uh, growing in bursts that give it a striped appearance when cut open. When the outer layer hardens and turns blue-green, it is ready to harvest. This is the only one that I think that we have a bulb. Oh, we have this one too. This one has fruit. Firm and turquoise. I think this is it. Well, let's find out. Okay, so we actually did manage to create an elixir there. We're gonna need to label that and this actually. Uh, make sure we don't give that to anyone that needs anything too much because otherwise we'll kill them. So this is the elixir of the damned. Oh boy. Isn't that fun? And yeah, we got a check mark there. So we did manage to create that one. So now we have St. Quentin's elixir will enable any drinker to overcome their sense of fear. Though it should be considered beforehand that fear is not always a bad thing. A five-pointed leaf to grant courage, a red flower to protect the mind, and a seed pod for luck. Um, oh my goodness, we're going to have to really think about this. Uh, a five-pointed leaf. I think the five-pointed leaf is the mountain astery here because it promotes an aura of confidence. So a red flower to protect the mind. Um, let's see. St. John's, I think, is... Uh, it's red. That's for hearing ability. I don't think that's quite right. Oh, this is definitely it. This candlewood uh, protecting against all manner of afflictions against the mind. That's definitely it. And a seed pod for luck. Um, I don't think we can make this one yet, so we're gonna go ahead and just hold, because I don't have anything with a seed pod. Like I kind of, I've kind of thought about, I, just, I don't have anything with seed pods. So we're just gonna have to hold off on that one for a minute. Yeah, we haven't got anything with a seed pod. The dreams have changed. I understand now what I need to do. When your librarian friend visits tomorrow, give her this instead of the pal palliance that she will ask for. She knows something that she's not telling you. That's a bit weird. What is this? What did she just give me? Bro, I don't even, I don't even know. <laughs> anyway, next day, let's find out what we've got here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Endermore Raven Spider. I don't, I don't know what that means. Equipped with the artist's knowledge, she journeyed west to the stone circle. Unbeno unknown to her, she was not alone as she made her preparations. Endermore Raven Spider. Spider. Endmore. Where's Endmore at? I haven't seen Endmore. Okay, so here's Endmore. Oh, what the? Hang on a second here. Uh, does this have a raven? Okay, raven and a spider. Okay, so uh, I don't know how this is gonna work. <laughs> Hang on a second here. So we have Endmore down here. 
So the raven takes me here. So here. And spider takes me here. Is that how that works? A jackdaw croaks hidden somewhere nearby. Strange shapes of old stones pierce the long grass. Among them, some plants grow. Okie dokie, I don't know. I don't know what we got here. Okay, go away. Thanks for coming. Uh, let's see here. Some new flowers. Wait, where do I put all my elixirs? I'm gonna put this one... We're gonna put the elixirs up here. Where's the other elixir? Just hiding amongst the... the nonsense. Okay, we're gonna put those up there. And, uh, okay, let's, uh, keep going here. Hi! Have you heard of this masked woman? Imagine having that amount of power. Nations would kneel before you. You would be a god. That creature, it's huge, unstoppable. They say it obeys her every command. It would certainly come in helpful with my father-in-law tomorrow. I guess I'll have to settle with some Daisy Doc. Okay, Daisy Doc grants, oh, grants courage. Oh no, one, two, th hmm, curious. Uh. Huh. I have to think about this. I don't think it's that one. Let's see. Daisy Doc. I think Daisy Doc is this one here. Those leaves match pretty good. Yeah, so uh, this one also has five. Hmm. What is this? Those are flowers? Bobbles. Huh. Curious. This lever was delivered in an unusual way. There was no address provided, just the horticulturist spelled wrong. <laughs> I have to assume it was meant for you. Ah, oh, great. I'm getting some strange letters. If you know your plants, this letter is for you. Ho ho, so you got it working. Oh yes, yes, it works, it works. Look to the north of Bowfell at the source of the river Esk. Nobody knows it grows there. It will be our little secret. Ho ho. It's from the hermit. Okay, so north of Bowfell. Where is Bowfell? That's always the question, isn't it? So here's Esk. Hang on a second. Where did that go? Not you. What the heck? I want this, thank you. North of Bowfell, at the source of the river Esk. Where's Bowfell? Oh, there's Bowfell. Okay, so right here. Sure enough, I found a plant here that I have never seen before. Huh. Okay. Curious and curi more curious and even curiouser. My husband likes to forage for mushrooms, but I'm worried about the ones he's brought back from his latest venture. He's been on a trip across the lake, exploring the woods to the west of here. He's got a bag full of odd looking mushrooms that he says are perfectly safe, but they don't look edible to me. I have brought one with me to help identify it, but he's hoarding them because he thinks I'm going to throw them out. I'll come back tomorrow. Mr. Dune Mushrooms, woods west of Undermire, across the lake. Okay. West. In the woods. I'm guessing either here or here. Uh, let's start here. Mushrooms, how have I never been here before? They're hard to find them at first, but soon I'm seeing them everywhere. Okay, so we want to figure out what kind of mushrooms those are. What do they smell like? Red caps have a spongy texture. I feel like we've looked at mushrooms before that have a spongy texture. Hang on. Like, I think we definitely saw some in here. Oh. Just typically found in dense forest protruding through the mulch. At a glance, it can appear as though a corpse is reaching up from the undergrowth, said to strengthen resolve. Okay, I think this one is Dead Man's Fingers. I th think that's that one. 
That's not the one I was looking for, but thanks for that anyway. Uh, let's see. Other mushrooms. Spongy mushroom with potent abilities. Only safe to consume in small quantities. I think... I think this is farmer's worry. I think that's what that one is. Uh, hi. So this one, hmm. This is the plant we're supposed to give the one lady that she she wanted to give to, that the, you know, I know what I must do. Um, let's see, that doesn't look right. See if I can't figure out what this, this plant is. What does it smell like or whatever? Long thin leaves quite rigid, aroma is sharp and acidic. Okay, I think it's this one. Uh, I think it is the Lizly of Neptune. I think. I mean, it looks close. It's not this one, because that's the yellow flowers. Um, I don't recall ever... I haven't seen anything else as I've been kind of palming through here. Uh, that's a mushroom, that's a mushroom, that's a mushroom or something. What is this? Uh, Cup-like flowers. Yeah, nope, that's not. That's not right. Uh, let's see, Widow's Woe. It has an unpleasant scent. Nope, that's not it either. So yeah, I think that will get the truth. Is this her? <laughs> Lord Fremont told me he was able to help you find some information on the servant. I've been looking all over the library, but I've discovered is a mold problem. I hope you might have some sweet breath that could help clear it up. Oh, so she was right. Um, hmm. I am very curious. So this... Freshness of air. Hang on. Somewhat pungent. Uh, what about this one? Pleasant, fresh aroma. I think this one might be it. I'm gonna give her the other one though, cause I'm absolutely curious of if the lady's telling the truth. Are you guys ready? We're doing the other thing. I didn't want to mention this, but Fremont gave me something else from his archives. A recipe for an elixir is the key to the link to the servant. In theory, it would be possible to wrest control of it from the woman in the jade mask. In theory. But the only records I was able to find are hundreds of years old. And even if it works, what then? The power that can be wielded through the Woken Dendru is too great for any one person. We should stick to the sisterhood's ritual. Huh. Okay, so we actually got two things for that. Sour Brandy and the Elixir of Control. Um, I think I have, these all look familiar. Um, let's see, first of all, let's go ahead and turn this yellow. So we actually did that. So that was actually really, really good that we chose to do that. Uh, let's see, so this we definitely have. So first, oh, first of all, blop. Uh, we've got a Plant with yellow berries. I'm 100% sure we've got that somewhere in here. I think it's this one. The link between the servant and the master is not fully understood. What we do know, however, is the link can be broken at the expense of the mind of the master. Okay, so, and... It is believed that the power of the stone circle can amplify the effect of the elixir. And then we have a purple flower that's got, like... Is it this one? That, that's it. I think this is it. All right, let's see. Did I get it? Okay, we did actually manage to get it. So this is the elixir of control. I have a sneaking suspicion that I'm running real close to getting some. So there, I they know this game has multiple endings because I did check. I don't know. Oh, I can actually look at the elixirs. I don't know, um, like, 
what the endings are or how to get them. I don't know which one I'm going to get by going down the path that I have currently chosen. Okay. My cousin will be married in three days. If you've got some timble huff, then it'd save me the trouble of going out to find some myself. If you knew my cousin, you'd know she's not worth the trouble. <laughs> I... Some people are not worth the trouble. All right, so uh, traditionally used in decorations at weddings, it is thought to strengthen relationships. A cross section of the small cup-like flowers, they generally point downwards to avoid filling with water. Okay, so we've got, nope, we haven't seen this one. So there's this one. Uh, there's this one. Bell-like flowers and heart-shaped leaves. Anything else that we have that could possibly be it? No, I think, I think this one checks out. There's really only two options, but this one has like a dangly thing, so. Oh, whoops. Okay, so this is not Trimble Huff. Uh, maybe this one, I just got a phone call too. Interrupted my, my thought. Okay, so that's Trimble Huff. Uh, I screwed that one up. I don't know what happens if you get to the top there, to be honest with you. That sounds like a second playthrough type nonsense. Okay, so that ends today. I think I've pretty much done everything else that I can. Uh, so we've got some elixirs. Um, this one is the one I wanna try and do. Uh, let's see, let's plop that in there. Let's plop that in there. Let's plop this in there. What's this one? Oh, the disc, yeah, we know how that works now. Okay. So let's head over to the elixirs. I want to try this one again, or try this one. I think. Let me go through some of these and see if I can't figure out which ones we want to use. Because I think, not to change jobs, Poppy. Uh, there was another one that we picked up that had that five, this, this one? This, uh-oh, which one was it? Well, hang on, I'll figure this out real quick. Okay, so this is what I was thinking. So we've got, we picked up the Daisy Dock one. That was one of the ones that we just, just learned about. I don't even know where it was in here. But I remember we got it and I was like, oh yeah, like that actually makes uh, even more sense. I don't know where it is. But the other one that I mentioned, I noticed as I was flipping through um, here, hang on a sec, where is the, okay, here it is. Um, but the other one that I noticed, if I come back here, there's one, okay, that's not what I was looking for. Uh, there's one called, where is it? That actually was seeds, sheep snap, um, mentions that the seed pods our hard outer shell. And we just picked this one up and these little baubles are hard. I think that's this one. So let's go ahead and try and create it. I'm hoping this works. <laughs> Did I get it? I got it. I don't know how I got it, but I got it. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and label that as St. Quentin's Elixir. Why is it? IR. That feels weird. Okay, so that is all done. Let's go ahead and run uh, to the end of today. This is as far as I'm going to go today. I think we have one more episode of this, I think. Eight miles to the east. The shepherd watched as she prepared the leaves and roots that she would require. He watched as the hours dragged by, the sun set, and she worked by candlelight. At times sitting still, at times moving like a dancer among the stones. The change happened suddenly, but also suddenly but also subtly so that at first the watcher was not sure that anything had happened then he saw it i think by the way this is um if i open up my box i think we want to go to here to the tree 
And I think it is eight miles to the east. So, um, oops. Crap. Which one was it? Uh, it's this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, nope, it is not. Okay, so there's a tree somewhere that we need to visit, but we're gonna take care of that uh, next time. I will see you guys then.